Southside Art Center opened its doors in November of 1986 and began to make art. Initially, we focused on drawings, paintings, ceramics, and home collectibles. As more art was made, the quality of the work improved. Southside always has had many talented artists who created memorable works. And as time passed and the work improved, public interest also grew. Southside had many community art shows and art sales, which then provided money to the artist. We believe in the larger picture. Art exhibitions help to educate the public about the talents of people with developmental disabilities and the sales made provide money to the artist. The money empowers people to make personal choices in their lives. In the 1990s, we also exhibited at established galleries such as the W Gallery in Sacramento, where we made themed arts such as When Pigs Fly and produced handmade paper covered tables and chairs. We molded hands making a floating cone and many other experimental art pieces. The exhibitions were well received and supported by the Sacramento art community. For a couple of years in the early 1990s, we operated a booth at the California State Fair where we sold hand-painted hand silk scarves, handmade fabric dolls, paper mache crafts, cards, coasters, and many other handmade collectibles. The sales were moderate, but encouraging. We manned the booth for 12 hours per day for the 21 days of the fair, often with a participant working alongside us. This increased the public awareness of artists with developmental disabilities at Southside Art Center. In 1993, we opened a collaborative gallery with six other art centers in the greater Sacramento, Roseville, and Auburn area. The gallery is located at the Country Club Mall. The Country Club management has provided a wonderful free space to exhibit and sell artwork for many years. The artists learn to greet customers, talk about art, arrange displays, clean the space, and make sales. Now we could really showcase the artistic abilities of people with developmental disabilities and provide the opportunity for financial success and personal choices. The gallery has been successful with thousands of dollars in sales over the years. In the final analysis, Southside artists sold more artwork and made more money than all of the other centers combined. During this time, we also made art pieces that were purchased by businesses as far away as Napa, which we delivered and installed. We created many types of art, including mosaic ceramic bird baths, small waterfalls, wooden mats, found object art, crafts, and repurposed art as well as home collectibles and many other drawings, paintings, and ceramics. In 2001, with the help of Kerry Bolowski, we reopened the New Visions Gallery at the Country Club Mall after almost a five-year closure. 
We established high standards of art and customer service. But one by one, the other centers left the gallery until only Southside Art Center remained. In 2004, we changed the name to Southside Art Center Gallery and have operated the gallery since, providing opportunities to purchase art and meet the artist. We operate the gallery year-round, excluding most weekends and holidays. We do have special events and guest artist art shows, which keeps the gallery at an active place. Southside Art Center Gallery continues to be open regular mall hours from Thanksgiving until Christmas, where we do the bulk of our annual sales. The artists continue to work on their artwork at the gallery site, along with greeting customers and managing the daily gallery operation. We produced artwork based on holiday celebrations, including wire Christmas trees, ornaments, cards, jewelry, knitting, and mosaic works. In 1999, we received a commission to produce art for the Department of Recycling in their boardroom. We used handmade paper, repurposed magazines, plastics, film, and other materials to create the commission. In 2002, we were awarded the opportunity to create public art for the state of California at the Joe Cerna Building on 11th and I Street in Sacramento. The CERTA building uses recycled materials throughout, so we utilize materials such as aluminum, Mylar balloons, handmade paper, pull taps, six-pack rings, glass, fabric, and many other materials and recycled objects. Since that time, we created artwork for over 20 state agencies, public corporations, and businesses in the Sacramento area. In creating these projects, we are able to break down the creative process and plan so that many artists can participate in the making of the art and prosper financially. Some artists may have skills with scissors or be able to scratch on aluminum, bend wire, string beads, glue items, clean ceramics, and participate in the creative process. The structure of creating the large projects means there is design work needed with art instructors heading up the teams of artists making the projects. We have been blessed with great art instructors over the years, all of which are talented, knowledgeable, and committed to the success of the Southside artists participants in creating individual and large-scale artworks or any other class art activity. They are why Southside continues to be a wonderful creative environment. Currently, we continue to create art for the public and operate the Southside Gallery, along with numerous public exhibitions throughout the year. We are constantly experimenting, trying new art forms, and offering new learning experiences for the participants to grow as an artist. Being an artist means a lot to me um, because it's kind of like a, um, an outlet to put all my emotions into self-expression. I get to show up my art, work, and projects being full of inspiration and um, letting your personality come out into your art. Creating art makes me feel good because um, the the more I do it, the better I get at it, and 
there's always that that um, feeling of accomplishment when you finish something. Good and productive. I can get a work, work with my hands. Very relaxed and at peace. It's exposed me to different mediums and different um, ways of expressing yourself and also um, helps, uh, it opened my mind to possibilities of things I never thought about to use as an art and as in my daily life. I do want to say that I think the Southside Art Center is a really special place because um, it's really helped me, like I said, grow a lot of, as a person and an artist. And um, it's, a, it's a place where people can go who um, might not get the help or respect that they need outside of the center. Although I will say that I've seen a lot of growth in some of the students who have been here as long as I have from when, when we started basically at the same time to now. They're almost totally different people. They've grown so much. Uh, Southside Art Center has helped me grow a lot as a person and an artist because um, before I started at the Southside Art Center I was very timid and shy and didn't talk to a lot of people. And uh, after I started at the center, I started to make friends and I started to open up a little bit and eventually uh, got on the board of directors, which is where I am now, which I wouldn't be if it wasn't for the South Center Center. As the Center of Visual Arts continue to evolve and grow, we hope more opportunities will emerge to showcase the talents of the visual artists of Southside Arts Center.